Hello, ladies and gentlemen, as guardians and mutants alike, welcome to another Liam Maiden gameplay video. Back with more Marvel Strike Force today, where we're going to be continuing our journey through Doom War. Oh, I've overshot. There we go. Into campaigns. Um, now, uh, let's take a look here, because the last Doom War video that I made, we were completing uh, Doom War Chapter 2. I completed the last three nodes of Doom War Chapter 2. I did that with a mixture of Power Armor and Hydra. I'll pop a link in the top right-hand corner and also down below. Do check that out if you haven't already, which means that today we're going to be moving on to Chapter 3. Now, as you can see here, these first three nodes have no restrictions on them. There's no tag requirements, which means we can actually have some fun um, and play around with the teams that we use here for these first three nodes. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a different team every node, and I'm going to go through um, some of the teams that I am uh, using most now, uh, right now, um, in the game, um, in various different game modes. And I'm just going to give them a go and see how they do. I think we're just going to be OP on every single node, frankly, um, but just to kind of showcase uh, some of the teams I'm using at the moment, and maybe give you some ideas for teams to build if you are new in the game, um, and also see how they do, obviously, in uh, Do More Chapter 3. So let's give it a go. I'll show you some of my favorite teams at the moment in the game. Uh, always a lot of dialogue here and as per usual I'm going to click through it rather than clicking skip. That is a superstition with me. I know it doesn't do anything but I'm not gonna not gonna change it now. Okay so this first node here uh, the team we're actually gonna use is um, Kess Watch. Um, so for those of you who are unfamiliar, Kess Watch is basically the four more accessible members of the Infinity Watch, Nebula, Gamora, Philavel, and Moondragon, and then Kestrel. So this is a really awesome team for people who don't have Adam Warlock. I don't currently have Adam Warlock. I might be able to unlock him next time round, um, but I don't currently have him at the moment. So this is a kind of slightly less powerful version of Infinity Watch. It is an awesome team. Obviously, it's not quite as meta as Infinity Watch is at the moment. They're just about still holding on to that tag. I guess maybe Eternals have sort of taken over that tag a little bit. Uh, the tag, I mean the status of being a meta team in the game. But this is a very powerful team. If you don't have Adam Warlock, this is the way I recommend you run um, Infinity Watch. Unless, of course, you do want to throw Eternals in there. 383,000 power. Um, I think they're going to be way OP uh, for this first node in Doom War Chapter 3. But let's give them a go and see how they do. So just for background, everyone on this team is level 70 um, and gear 13. Um, Gamora is uh, 7 stars, but I think only 5 red, and I have all the T4s on Gamora and Nebula. I don't think I have any T4s on anybody else. Um, but it's, it's really the um, synergy. So Kestrel's just an amazing character, right? If you if you don't have Kestrel, if you're not really using Kestrel, I think everyone is familiar with Kestrel right now. She's just awesome. Um, her heals uh, and, and the fact that she, you know, she self-heals and she also prevents other people from um, summoning or cloning um, characters is just really, really awesome. She's definitely an incredibly powerful tune. If you combine her with all the synergy between the Infinity Watch members, look, we're just slicing right through this here. It's just such a powerful combo. So I use this team a lot in, um, I actually use it in uh, the, the regular arena mode. Um, I use it in real-time arena still, and I definitely use them in um, raids quite a bit. Also get a lot of usage out of them in war. This is generally just a really powerful team that you can use um, across the board, um, basically in every single game mode. And as you can see, they're just really making short work of this here. I love the animations on, on Kestrel too. I think it's really cool opening the portals and, and taking everybody out. Philavel, I think Philavel is awesome too. My Philavel is kind of weak. Um, I really like her cleanse though. Um, it's it's very useful. And then Moon Dragon, of course, is the support. She's the healer again. Um, stars are very low on her. Um, my stars, so she's kind of squishy. It's really um, Kestrel. Uh, Gamora and Nebula, who are the damage dealers here. But look at this. I mean, this is probably the quickest run that I've, I've ever done of a node on, on Doom War, I think. They just made super short work of this, slicing straight through. Um, let's do it. Take it down, Gamora, finish him off. Boom. There we go. So, super, super easy. Kess Watch cutting straight through the first node of Doom War, Chapter 3. Boom. Three stars, just like that. Awesome. Well, there we go. Uh, let's move on to node number two. This is going to be the, the shortest do more video, I think, that I've, I've ever done here. We're just making super short work of this. Let's go. 
So if gear 13 was OP there, and I think you could have done that with probably gear gear 9 or gear 10 even, just because of that synergy there, I think you still could have three-starred it. Um, and this next team that I'm going to use is going to be uh, even even more OP, OOP, because um, we are going to use this team right here. This is the... the um, uh, global team that I was using. It's the first team that I took up to do uh, DD3, Dark Dimension 3. So um, Ultron, uh, Baron Zemo, Ghost, Emma Frost, and Mr. Sinister. Now I actually made a video recently on Dark Dimension. I'll pop a link in the top right hand corner and again down below. And I do talk about this team, why I think it's a good team. Also, I think this team's kind of a little bit past its prime now. It's not necessarily the team that I would recommend people go for for the global nodes on DD3, um, but I think it is still an awesome team now because I'm using it in DD3, I have all these characters up at gear 14. I think I also have all of the T4s on them. Everybody here is maxed out with T4s. We're a little under 500,000 uh, power on this team. Like I said, if Kesswatch was OP, this team should be OOOOP. Let's see how we do. Surprisingly, um, Ultron, I think, is actually my, my favorite uh, tune on this team, which is strange because um, you know, I think the generally speaking he even back in the day wasn't considered as good a tune for DD3 as the other four on this team, but I get a lot of um, a lot of mileage out of him calling the the summons that he does the the Ultron drones and all the extra um, Turn meter that you gain from them very very useful for cutting through DD3 So yeah, very, very little damage from those dead pools there just because everyone is so high on the gear. Um, who shall we, yeah, let's just take a dead pool, clone a dead pool and see if we can do some damage. There we go, that's nice. Got them both down to yellow health. Now see, this is just so awesome. All this extra um, turn meter that Ultron gains there. Boom, that ultimate is just devastating. Didn't quite take out Strife, but boom, there we go. Baron Zemo finished the job. So you're not getting quite as much synergy with this team as you did with the Infinity Watch team, uh, the Kess Watch team, obviously, because they all had the tag there. And these are these are kind of a hodgepodge of global characters, but they do still work uh, very well together with the various um, cleanses, buffs, the healing that you get. Boom, this could do this ultimate. Boom, so devastating. Um, the, the healing that you get from um, uh, Emma Frost and uh, Mr. Sinister, and then just the damage output that you get from Ultron, uh, Baron Zemo, and of course those, the extra crit that you get from, from Ghost with her passive ability. Boom. Let's, oh, I thought that was going to do it then. I thought you were going to be killed by an Ultron drone. That's why I took the, the speed down. Oh, and he survives Emma Frost's attack too. Wow. There we go, taken out by an Ultron drone in the end. Anyway, so yes, not necessarily the best team anymore to go for global if you're starting out just creating your global roster for DD3, but still a very potent team um, as evidenced by that three-star victory on uh, Doom War uh, Chapter 3, Node 2. Boom, there we go. All right, so moving on to the final node. We're really just slicing, sailing right through this here as we three-star these nodes and move further into uh, Doom War Chapter 3. So the final team then, if that's the team that I'm using for the global nodes on DD3, we're going to switch it up and we're going to call in the team that I am using for the cosmic nodes. And there we go. I've been talking about them a little bit earlier this video. I'm talking about the Eternals, of course. So the team I'm using is the Eternals, Icarus and Cersei, with Dad Bros, Dad Bros, if you don't know, it's Shatterstar and Longshot, and then, of course, Ebony Moore um, for the healing and the support there. This, again, is a great team. Now, this team's a little weaker. They're all up at gear 14. Haven't put any T4s on them yet. I don't think maybe I have the T4 on Ica Icarus's basic. Um, but other than that, they're pretty T4 light. What's going to happen right here, though, is the Eternals are just going to carry this. Um, the Dad Bros, uh, Shatterstar and Longshot, I'm really only using them because I had them up at gear 14 anyway. Don't necessarily recommend them. Uh, Ebony Maw is a great healer, and you do need legendary characters for DD4, so I do think he's worth bringing up anyway. But yeah, this is going to be Eternals. It's Eternals in DD3. It's going to be Eternals here in Doom War. Boom. Look at that. Gotta love that. So, okay, so here we've got a bunch of um, Doom Drones. 
Dr. Doom has unleashed green-eyed dooms from other dimensions to serve him. These enemies cannot summon dooms, but Latvia's ruler has provided some to aim them. Okay, to aid them, rather. Okay, um, so limited number of uh, doom bots to take out here. Should be short work, I think. So we're going to see here um, the power difference, how, how little damage um, I'm, I'm anticipating. Yeah, there you go. How little damage uh, Shadow Star and Longshot do, even though I've got way more stars on them than I do um, any of the either of the Eternals. But the Eternals are just so powerful. The power creep on them is just insane. Boom! Look at that. Now Ebony Maw again. My Ebony Maw is pretty pretty weak. I'm still in the process of powering him, powering him up fully. Um, and only at five star. I think we've only got a couple of red stars on him too, but boom. It's really just the Eternals. The Eternals just carry this team. They carry any team they're on. More dooms. More dooms for the fodder. Let's do this. Okay, at least we got defense down on them. I, I will take that. See if Longshot can take one out here. Nice. Okay, nice. Thank you, Longshot. Um, I guess let's get some get some defense up anyway. We definitely don't need it, but why not? Okay, so I guess I do have that T4 because it's a double attack there. So I think we would have got three attacks if that Doom or Doom bot hadn't have been killed there. Um, so, I must have that T4 on the basic for Icarus. That explains some of the extra damage that we're doing. But I don't have any other T4s on him, yet. But that, honestly, that's where to spend your T4s right now in game, if you haven't already. But, here we go. So I kept this one on low speed, just so we could enjoy the animations, and also because I knew it was not going to be difficult to cut through this one. Is Cersei going to finish it off here? Boom! She does. There we go. Well, that was kind of fun, just showcasing three kind of random teams, three of my favorite teams, most useful teams right now, boom, uh, and three starring the first three nodes of Doom War Chapter 3. Pretty awesome. There we go. Um, that's the first three nodes of Chapter 3, so moving on to the next three, four, five, and six, I'm, you need to use Avengers or Fantastic Four. Um, I am going to be using Avengers. Pretty sure I'm going to be using Secret Avengers for that. I will post a video um, as soon as I am able. And then the final ones, you've got to use Hero Tech or Hero Supernatural. Again, there'll be two new videos coming in future. I probably won't get them out before the end of the year now. Probably the beginning of 2022. I will post those videos and let you know how I do. Well, there you go. Um, thanks for coming along on this journey with me today. I would love to hear how you're doing um, with Doom War, what you think of the teams that I used today, and what teams you used, or maybe what sync, maybe you just used the same team to do all three nodes, um, what you used to get through the first um, three nodes of Doom War Chapter 3, or maybe you're new to Doom War and you're just figuring out what teams you're going to use as you move through Chapter 1. Wherever you are, I would love to hear your progress down below. Thoughts, comments, and criticisms always welcome. Well, there you go guys um thanks for being a part of this journey with me today if you did enjoy the video found it informative or entertaining in any way please consider giving it a like a thumbs up down below i really do appreciate it and it helps out the channel and hey while you're here why not consider subscribing to liam aiden gameplay i drop new gameplay videos for marvel strike force and star wars galaxy of heroes every single week and i would love to have you along for the ride that is all from me today i'll see you in the next one in the meantime look after each other